boreal mushroom. <laughs> they grow all over the northern hemisphere in boreal forests, which are forests that have um, uh, snow. They grow during the spring. Uh, they need rain, or humidity, and warmth. They grow best in burned soil, because the uh, blackened soil it um, absorbs infrared radiation quicker than um, unburned soil. I have no idea. <laughs> okay. What part of the fungus is, is the mushroom? The fruiting body. Mm -hmm. Spreading spores. What are spores? Spores are like seeds, kind of, but for fungi. Oh yeah, it's hollow. Mm -hmm. That's one of the ways you can tell the difference between a morel and um, not a morel. Right, so the old, the word morel comes from the old German word morella, which means little carrot. All right, morels are fungus, so they're not like plants, and they don't make their own food. They um, need to make, they need to uh, eat other organisms like wood, which they use enzymes to break down. Lots of different animals eat morels, including mule deer, elk, and gray squirrel. It's important to be responsible when harvesting morels. Animals. So there's enough for animals to eat and for spores so that they can reproduce. You leave one third of the morels you find. Um, what are some tips for cooking morels? Well, you know, I don't have a ton of experience cooking morels, but I've been doing some reading lately. And uh, the way that I do it is uh, first, you know, we have to wash them all off is what we've been doing here. Cut off all the dirt, wash them, rinse them in salt water to help get the bugs off. Um, I cook them down in a big pan without any oil or butter uh, for a while until the water all boils off. And I dump all the water off. Um, and then I add some olive oil or coconut oil and cook it at a pretty high heat until they kind of get fried. And then I add in some shallot, shallots, uh, shallots. Wow, okay, shallots. <laughs> shallots. <laughs> and, uh, and then uh, and some, some herbs and some spices, but not too much, because you don't want to overpower the flavor of the morel. And then uh, I add a little bit of butter and salt and pepper and enjoy in a variety of different ways. I add it to like fried rice. Uh, this morning I'm making a first ever, never done this, but I'm doing a morel uh, frittata. Mm. So we'll let you know how that turns out. <laughs>